Hey there magic one, welcome to your March tarot reading. I'm just calling in to wish you a beautiful month. Also letting you know that this month I have created extended readings for you. So if this message resonates with you and you feel that it is your message, uh, you will find the first link down below where you can hop across to my website and for a very small donation, you can uh, go further into the message with an extended reading. In that reading, I clarify uh, each of the cards further. And also at the end, we draw more oracle cards as well. We continue for around 15, 20 minutes in that reading. If you do want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself, I'm always available for those. You'll also find that link down below and also the link if you would like to learn tarot with me through my immersive tarot journey. The initiation, the doors are always open for that. And I'd love to uh, teach you how to guide yourself and really connect deeper with your own inner wisdom and in a compass so for now i am wishing you a month of love and magic do take care let's head across to your reading now sagittarius welcome to your reading for the month of march sagittarius welcome to your march tarot reading let's see what may be on the cards for you for the month I've got the nine card block that explains your situation. I've got a lead tarot energy and a selection of oracles on the left and the right. The left for me is generally uh, where you've come from, what's created the situation and where you may find yourself now. And the right is where you are moving. Okay, so let's jump in. Um, oh, just before that, Sergi, I am having some lighting issues. I'm really sorry. I've tried everything. Sometimes I don't change anything, but the camera flares and overexposes. I've played around with blind up, blind down, ring light on and off. Nothing's working. So if you know about this stuff and why it does that, please let me know. Um, I need help. <laughs> okay, let's jump into this reading. It's so interesting because when I pulled the first line, the Nine of Swords, the Empress and the Ten of Swords, I was like, there's been some big disappointment here about something you tried to create that came to maybe an abrupt ending, a painful ending or something like that. And then the Empress was uh, your lead energy, but in reverse in the past, okay? So something that you really maybe put a lot of effort and energy into just did not play out as you had hoped, okay? So I'm going to give you some examples because this is a general reading. This could have been a new business venture or an investment that you tried to create. Um, this for some of you has been a conception journey and um, I'm very sorry to say this could have been a miscarriage for some of you or not being able to conceive and needing to change course on that. Um, it could have been that you tried to, to get the next level of growth in your, in your career and that hasn't worked out, okay? So there's been something that has not worked out that you've really had a lot of hopes, dreams and wishes, you know, you had a lot of faith in it and there's been a huge disappointment and a lot of stress as well because you could have lost financially with the Empress as well, okay? The Ten of Swords is a painful final ending where we kind of feel deceived as well or betrayed, hard done by. Like, why is this my lot? Why doesn't it work out for me? It works out for other people. So that's what I'm feeling. But we've got to keep in mind that there is a new dawn, a new day. There is spirit or source watching over you. And look at the energy towards the end of the reading. It's so happy and positive. And we just have to keep in mind that, you know, this is all part of the journey you know, all part of the learning curve, all part of the test of life, okay? And which is interesting because the Moonology card says your commitment is being tested. Maybe your, your faith is being tested, your hope is being tested. You know, it feels like this was a challenge for you. And if this is work and career, there could have been um, like one big hurdle, like the loss of a client or a contract or a promotion or something and the universe is testing you whether you have the resolve and the resilience to keep going because we know that on these journeys often you know we we have a lot of challenges along the way not very often is it just the pathway you know the universe just roll out the red carpet and say come this way everything's going to be easy you know I know that from starting this journey on on YouTube it's taken a long time there's been um, ups and downs you know and if I hadn't have kept on you know, pushing, I wouldn't have been able to move into it full time like I, I am now. 
So the cards are also saying there is a light in the unexpected. Okay, this was an, I feel like this ending of it was unexpected and out of your control, out of your hands in some way here, Saji. But the cards are saying there is light in the unexpected. You could have been being like divinely redirected here as well. The universe is saying this was a test and challenge for you, but also it wasn't meant to be for you right now in this form. Okay, have some compassion for yourself. Maybe you might need to have compassion for another if somebody was the person that kind of pulled the, the pin on this, pulled the plug. You know, really we need to soften the heart um, and understand that, you know, what we are seeking is seeking us and eventually we will align with that. There's a strong energy, Sag, of needing to move on from this situation, okay, and not stay in the stress and the worry. If we stay in, like, sadness or grief or stress and worry, we are going to hold a really dense vibration, and then we will attract, you know, experiences towards us that validate that position. We need to elevate, be compassionate, you know, see the light in the unexpected here so that we're going to attract in higher vibrational experiences, so we've got the Chariot, Queen of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. And this is all about moving on to new victories, okay? Leaving behind, you know, the baggage from the past. Um, leaving behind a sense of home is what it feels like. Could have been the ending of a relationship. I didn't even mention that. Um, or moving out of a really loved home as well. One that you kind of grew and, you know, cultivated and renovated or put your energy into. That's what's coming through. So the chariot is being determined to move forward to greater victories. You know, and the six of swords is the lead tarot energy on the right, Saji, which is about a necessary rite of passage. And it is with a heavy heart that you're moving on. There's sorrow here. But what you're actually moving on from is some kind of emotional roller coaster or something that has caused you a lot of disturbance in your um, in internal world. So you're moving into like harmony and peace and smoother sailing. Um, it feels like for some of you, some of you may be the ones doing the ending. You've got communication here. I see in the Six of Swords, you know, the key character holding the sword, which is often a communication symbol in the tarot and it can be about the severing of ties or holding of the boundaries so if you are the one that is doing the ending and intuitively feels that's the right thing Sag, the cards are saying it's the right timing now it's time for the communication okay but bring love into the situation it needs to be done from a very diplomatic a very compassionate a very honest um, and heartful way but also quite clear and direct don't make it ambiguous otherwise the person that you are dealing with may not get the message or you may instill hope where you you strongly feel there is no more hope in this situation queen of wands at the center of the reading uh, represents you no doubt fire sign here saggy and this is the determination to move on to new manifestations new passions and new purpose as guided by your instincts. You may also be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries um, or Leo, maybe Taurus, Libra with the Empress, Cancer with the Chariot could be one of the signs that um, is pivotal here for you. So it feels like you move, well, definitely moving forward. We've got so many indicators of that. There's a sense that it, that it feels like hard work in a way eight of pentacles because you might be kind of rebuilding if you've walked away from a business or a relationship or something established you are needing to really carve out a new path here and put in maybe some blood sweat and tears in a new direction but the difference is you'll feel proud doing it and you know that you're heading in the right direction your direction um it feels like hard work that pays off that brings things into balance six of pentacles so it feels really positive in that sense and if we look down here sag ten of cups four of wands six of pentacles you are moving towards something maybe far happier than what you had up here and this is obviously outside of this was a loss of a child or conception but if you did walk away from you know business or job or something like that it feels like there are new milestones of happiness coming up for you. Uh, the Ten of P uh, Cups is the kind of end game here of happiness. It says that there is going to be the victory 
of happiness and potential greater abundance in the future should you put the hard work in to move on from this and be determined to keep going in that direction. I'm also seeing, you know, the sacred flow of yes here. It's like there could be uh, new opportunities that come up, Saji, and you're being asked to move into the sacred flow of yes, which is surrender, um, allowing things to unfold rather than resisting and pushing in the opposite or known direction. So sometimes it's just like, oh, I can feel the universal current pushing this or like guiding me this way, not pushing. And I'm just going to, you know what, I'm just going to surrender and let it carry me. And you can trust that it's carrying you into, you know, a balanced new direction. The Six of Pentacles is this energy of it will be your time to receive uh, soon, you know, in the next spiritual season, but you're needing to put in the groundwork of recovery from this, of moving on, maybe some hard work. For some of you, you might be going back to kind of being a bit of an apprentice again, um, studying again, starting out kind of not, not right at the beginning, but it feels like there is like some kind of entry point here for you to build up again. And then, you know, you will come into your balance. If you're seeing 1111, you know, you are going through a portal of transformation and you're manifesting quickly. So just be be mindful of what you're thinking about when you see the number, because there's often uh, that's the angel spirits guides alerting you to um, the guidance in the moment of what you're thinking about like that. That's the right answer. Yes, you're on the right path, but also know that you are manifesting really quickly as well. So there you go, Saji. It feels like there's a recovery from maybe a unexpected ending or maybe you are the one that's needing to communicate and initiate an ending of something that's just not been delivering what you'd set out to achieve with it. And it's time for you to move on to the new. Otherwise, we can spend too much time, you know, trying to, you know, grow or cultivate what, you know, basically the conditions aren't right for the Empress says the conditions are right somewhere else. There is light in the unexpected. Your commitment is being tested. But if you put in the hard work, effort and energy, you can actually manifest something maybe far greater than what you'd hoped for in the past anyway. So that is your March Tarot reading here, Sag. If this is where we part ways, um, thank you for watching. Um, feel free to uh, comment and let me know how you went with it. Um, hit subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to join me for the extended version of this reading, as the first link below will take you to that. Um, and in that reading, I will be uh, expanding each one of these cards with two clarifiers so that we can really go deeper into the message and go through this with a fine tooth comb. And I'll be drawing more oracle cards at the end as well. So Sagittarius, I'm wishing you a month of love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.